I'm Andrew with Embark Tree Services here in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, it's EmbarkTreeServices.com is our website. Uh, today I wanted to demonstrate something that we've been using for a while. Uh, and I, I splice all my own gear. Uh, I splice my clip line and my robes and stuff. Um, but this here, uh, we've been using this for several years and it's going to be pretty similar to, to ABR's Anchor Bridge system. Uh, but this one's a little bit simpler. Uh, the other thing that's going to be different about this is that it's made from velocity. Uh, I really don't, personally, I don't like using 10x in my system uh, just because it picks really easy. Although 10x is very, very easy to splice. Uh, however, velocity is very easy to splice too. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of velocity, uh, not very long, uh, but I've spliced it. Uh, and, and all I've done is I put an ice splice here at the end. Uh, which I put a carabiner through to uh, to clip it to my uh, clip it to my bridge, and so the other end is basically just uh, another splice with a ring uh, installed in the splice. Uh, and and the reason why you can use a ring with this is because rings are, you can load them from many different axes. As with a carabiner, uh, you can only load it uh, with one axis. So so this is the tool right here. Uh, pretty simple, very very simple. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, this system here is uh, the, the VT uh, with the hitch climber and uh, two carabiners here. Uh, and a lot of guys that are doing this, uh, you know, when they switch from Blake's hitch to a system like this, one of the biggest problems that guys start getting into when they're, when they're first learning it is when you start to climb, you start getting a bunch of slack. And so then you would have to take the slack out as you go. So a lot of people that it does prevent them from, from ever making the change. And so what this is going to do is basically it's going to prevent your system from generating slack while you're pulling it up. And so all I do is I just put it right there and just put it right in my, I have a ring installed in my bridge as well. Um, so that you can take the slack out. And now uh, it's going to be a little bit different because now when I'm pulling, there's no slack generated in my system at all. It's much faster, much smoother. You don't have to stop and send the slack. Usually what I do, when I get up to a position, I don't need it in my system anymore where I'm ready to go out and work. I usually just take this out of my system. I'll use my flip line here and then I'll just remove the, the tool that I've created. Now, some people don't like unclipping things from their system. And so what you can do instead, because this is a ring, you can just clip a beaner right there and bring it right back down to your ring. And so now knot is right back where I had it before. So I can just go ahead and pull it down. The other advantage of using a system like this is a lot of guys aren't going to be using the hitch climber pulley. And so what's nice about this, I'm going to go ahead and take the hitch climber pulley out of here and show you that you don't necessarily need this tool to make this work. So now, using just a regular micro pulley that a lot of guys have been using for years for different applications. We can still use the same tool and just put both of the carabiners in here into that ring. And it's going to work pretty much the same way. So there you have it. 